Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you got a faulty body control module? The body control module is a computer and it's going to control various uh, components on the vehicle's body. Before I dive in and tell you the uh, symptoms of a body control module, let me give you a quick lecture. First, this is a body control module here and it works with various uh, computers on a vehicle such as the uh, ECM. Basically, when you have one computer and another computer linked together, it's going to communicate through what's called a CAN bus. So basically, that's just a series of wires where the information is traveled to. And for the body control module to work, it needs, it's going to need um, an input. And this input will send information straight to the BCM. And, it's, and the BCM is going to send out and output to control whatever components it is controlling. For example, let's say an input is going to be a door switch. So basically, when you press the door switch, it's going to send information through the CAN bus straight to the BCM, and the BCM is going to tell the door actuator to either lock or unlock the door. So let's just say you press the door switch and the BCM happened to be faulty, or let's just say it is failing and working intermittently. So when you press the door switch, the door may not lock or unlock. So when you have a problem with the BCM, you may notice all sorts of issues. For example, you may notice the security system not working properly. You may notice you cannot control the radio volume. You may notice the windows not rolling up or down. You may notice the dashboard light flickering. You may notice the horn is unresponsive. You may notice the headlights flickering as you're driving. You may notice the power door lock may lock or unlock on its own or may not respond at all. You may, may notice that the wipers may not function at all. So these are all classic signs that the BCL may be failing and should be uh, checked out. So the BCM is usually located in a safe spot, usually somewhere in the cabin, such as underneath the uh, dashboard. It could be located inside the uh, center console. It could be lo located behind the kick panel. Sometimes it could be located inside the trunk too. So the chances of the BCM going bad by external factors is gonna be kind of low. And if you have a problem with, again, with all these issues, most likely the problem is gonna be the BCM. However, before, Condemning the BCM, you want to check the uh, connection, you want to check the, uh, the CAN bus, basically the wires, you want to check the fuses and relays, and you all basically want to check everything that can affect the BCM. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.